where we're at. We're at a pilot. Yeah, we're nitro, but just topped off a fuel tank, got some fuel. Uh, auxiliary tank was pretty full. That's where I filled up where I thought I was going uh, to Richmond there last week, but just wrapping up our uh, week trip, waiting on our 15 minutes, and uh, Viper's still clean because, well, I ain't drove it in a few days. So, that, uh, ready to get back to work. Hopefully, this is the beginning of more loads. Uh, like I said, there's there's some other things that's you know here in front of a guy, and we just uh, well we want to be obedient to Christ, you know. And as I get more answers, then uh, you know I will uh, get with you and you know keep you all updated. But one thing uh, you know I was wrestling with because one of you know his ministry you know he's got gonna put me in a church sometime somewhere let me uh get this flipped around y'all hang on all right there we go uh but you know is god gonna put me in a church you know i don't know you know i've preached at a church and you know i've had uh two two great weekends there now i'm preaching there again here in two weeks um, yeah, or the 16th, so three weeks. Uh, but anyway, I really enjoyed it. Uh, enjoyed the the um, spirit there. You know, the people are looking for a. I mean, this church is looking for a pastor. So, and I, you know, I've been wrestling with. Okay, what, what what if they offer position and God decides to? That's where He wants me. You know, what do we do? You know, from there. It was like the channel, you know, because I don't want to stop bringing content to you guys, you know, because to you all, because you know we're sharing life and Jesus, you know, one mile at a time. And I was thinking, and uh, you know, God's like, on the road with Pastor Anthony doesn't have to necessarily mean traveling the highway. It's traveling the life, you know, this road called life that we're on. You know, you'll be, we'll be doing it together. And so the content, you know, may vary, uh, but you know, we we do all kinds of stuff on here. We're we're not in the box of one particular uh, content on this channel because we're just sharing, you know, life together as we go uh, ups and downs and and all that. And so the channel will never change. It always be on the road with Pastor Anthony. You know, when you. Right now, do I want to get back out of here on in the transport world? Yeah, there's some things I want to go see and do, people to meet, and uh, and that type of thing. So, but uh, don't know what God has in store for us. But we do know that we're going to be obedient and serve Him and do what He's called us to do. So that's where we are right now. Uh, or yeah, we still got a few minutes, but I'm gonna try to eat some truck stop food here because I didn't well I guess I would have had time to eat at the house but um and get ready to get out of here so we will see you when we get the trailer here it's six hours and something up there so around noonish I should be up there we'll, we'll see you then there guys what a way to start This is definitely not a good way to start out the week. Well, let me get situated here and I'll be back. All right, well, we're back on here just for a second. We'll set you up here. Well, we got another plug in it. These tires are so thick that it's, it's just hard to, to get them in there or you know, get a plug in those tires so uh, right now where we are we're gonna we're just waiting on the breaster just kicked off so uh start our next round of air and hopefully this plug holds so uh i think viper's trying to tell me 
she wants a new pair of shoes so i don't know it's it's getting close anyway so might end up having to do it didn't want to uh but uh not right now but you know might just have to happen so we'll let you know in a little bit how this turns out hey guys pastor anthony we got rolling again, and you know, we're in Ohio, and I think this plug, it's not going to wood, but I think she's going to hold. Uh, after talking to wife, though, I think we're going to go ahead and order tires and probably try to do it Wednesday evening, uh, or Wednesday afternoon, rather, but, uh, you know, it's just one of them things gotta do you gotta do you know <clears throat> so, so hopefully the rest of, the, the, of today is smooth as silk and we're just gonna ride and guide it looks like you know we got the sun coming up behind us here it's, i mean it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful morning <clears throat> 54 degrees you know god is good all the time oh yeah even when tires go flat on the side of the highway doesn't matter he's got our bike so keep monitoring it you know uh, see if we can get up here and get this trailer and get it back to North Carolina in the morning deliver it and head her towards the house so uh, we're gonna keep rolling I'll see you well you know hopefully the next time I see you at the, the pickup point see you then hey guys well we're back in Indiana and well Doing our break trip, and well, here's our unit. Tires the one fine now. So, uh, evidently, I guess I didn't get the plug in it good enough the first time, but went ahead and pulled the trigger. We're down to 430 seconds on on the tread, and you know it's September. Winter's coming pretty quick. I didn't want to do it, but you know, with that tire giving me problems, we're getting to travel. Uh, definitely don't want to take any chances of anything happening. So went ahead and called uh, Chad, you know, down Buffalo Tire. I'm like oh, I'll see you Thursday morning. Let's get my tires. And so we're, you know, we're going back to the same tires. I really enjoyed them. So, but uh, anyway, yeah, this one right here has got a few little things and scratches on her there. Yeah, you know, but yeah, that's. Be expected some glue there. Yeah, I normally I think you know about 50, 60 pictures. This one we're like 85. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, we want to make sure we're getting covered. This is the first trailer we pulled. From, uh, Wednesday will make a month since we pulled a trailer. So you know. Let's get this one down there to North Carolina. I hope you can hear me. It's windy out here. Uh, now this phone here doesn't uh, have a mic place, you know, thing for it. So, but it uh, looks like we're ready to go. I probably ought to pop the door open, kind of peek inside, make sure uh, there's nothing hanging down. Because I don't see any cutoff switch. Maybe there's one in the side compartments. I don't know. Uh, look. Anyway, we're going to get this thing going, finish it up. Go call the paperwork in and get rolling. So we'll see you at some point between here and there. Hey guys, checking in with you. Well, we didn't make it as far as we wanted to, but got the Belafonte, Ohio. I bike we ready for bed. Got dinner. And that compound of tire started leaking again. I don't know. It's, but today my blood pressure's been, <laughs> it's been the bowling and I ain't kidding you. It's been rough, and what I come to realize just a little bit ago that God's winding me up again, and we're about to go. Yeah, I keep saying we're going to do Romans, and we are, and it's going to be soon. I, there's just a few other things that's got to fall into place first, and uh, you know, some things uh, I'm waiting on an answer from God, okay, to tell me when to start this because we'll probably do this in my home, uh, probably. Maybe set up in my camper <laughs> once we're not using it. And, uh, I mean, because I want whiteboard, you know, 
everything up with that kind of stuff and uh we're going to do some uh notes so you'll definitely want to take that uh do that no but there's water in the drain but uh i wanna i'm over here in the truck and chit chat just a minute give me just a second and i'll be right back hey guys well we're we made it and this thing we got delivered we got it checked in got viper put back together just gotta go down here get her paperwork and head her back to West Virginia. We're grabbing the, the bus tomorrow morning. And then uh, we'll drive the bus on Thursday and Friday. Supposed to be hanging out with my grandson, the littlest one, uh, Paxton. And so I uh, might get him in there too on this video with things. And I can't take myself anywhere with that brand new shirt and I already got dirty. So, but anyhow, we're going to mosey down here, going to grab some paperwork, and we're going to get her towards the house. We will see you probably sometime in tomorrow. Um, we're going to probably wrap this thing up a little bit early, maybe this week. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So, I'll see you after a while. Hey, good morning. Pastor Anthony here. Well, we are made it home. And, well, we got few minutes to kill we're getting ready to we ran out of time getting here where i am right now and uh yesterday so i had to go off duty going i'm like 15 minutes from my house but i got an appointment here in just a few minutes uh to get the the medicine for my crohn's that i have to do every two months so but anyhow um uh, as you've seen the title of this message this could be my last video on youtube because I've got some things i got to talk about, and it's got me fired up. Um, and so, you know, I don't know how the YouTube algorithm things work. You know, I'm not monetized on there yet. You know, we're not big enough. But this stuff with what they're doing with our kids, I'm, I'm done with it. You know, I, and something else that just makes me irritated i posted it on one of my social media um, accounts there was a church called first baptist church no first not first baptist i'm sorry first christian church called it's supposed to be disciples well they're an all-inclusive church and they had a transgender uh, bingo kids something kids show wouldn't allow people to uh, video in there they made them put their phones away why uh, but and they had a room I don't even remember what the name of the room was called now but it had stuff for children to dress up in drag basically and you know it was a show, a new show that I watch on Newsmax who brought this to our attention. And the lady, Sarah Gonzalez, the, ho the host of that show, was, you know, knew about this. And this is not the first show she's infiltrated and, uh, you know, peacefully protested their First Amendment rights, you know, against what they're doing to children. And as I was listening and watching, and I'm going, where's the church? This is in Kathy. Katy, Texas. Um, where's the church? I mean, you know, Jesus, whenever a church tried to do do that, something like that, they, he, you know, when he were, they were turning his, you know, the house of the Lord into something that it was not, into a house of, the, you know, he called it a den of robbers. And Jesus went in there, and I mean, he drove them out, and I mean, he caused all kinds of ruckus. Now, I'm not promoting violence i'm not saying we need to do that but daggone we need to be saying something and i am and i'm here to say something i emailed that church and told them there is no way that they were a christian church there they need to go back and they need to go find the bible and go read it and look what happened to sodom and gomorrah because of that stupid foolishness that they're doing in there that you know that's a false teaching a false you know narrative 
you know, Jeremiah, I was looking here, uh, Jeremiah 23, 16. Uh, this is what the Lord Almighty says. Do not listen to what the prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions of their own minds and not from the mouth of the Lord. That's what these people are doing. Anybody that thinks it's okay to take a kid and have uh, reaffirming surgery and giving them beta, uh, hormone blockers and uh, think drag queen, queen uh, story hour, there's something wrong with you. That's just pure sick and evil and I'm fed up with the nonsense. Stop it. And people start protecting our kids. Dad, going to open your mouth and say something. I'm fired up as you can tell. I've been, I mean, this has been eating at me for days. I mean, for days. And I have had a gut full of this, uh, this foolishness. Places call themselves a church and then, then do something stupid like that. that they ain't a church. That's a demon possessed building, is what that is. You know, I've used this scripture many times out of 2 Timothy chapter 3. It says, but understand this, in the last days there will come times of difficulty. Hello, we're there. For people will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having an appearance of godliness but denying his power. Avoid such people, for among them are those who creep in the households and capture weak women and burden with sins and led astray by various passions. Always learn it, but never be able to rise the knowledge of the truth. There's one. Yeah, I told you we're going to get started in Romans here pretty soon. Uh, but looking over at Romans chapter 1, uh, Starting at verse 18, for the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men, who by their unrighteousness suppress the truth, suppress the truth, for what can be known about God is plain to them because it is God has shown it to them. For his invisible attributes, namely his eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. In these things that have been made so they were without excuse for although they knew God they did not honor him as God or give thanks to him but they became futile in their thinking and their foolish hearts were darkened claiming to be wise they became fools and exchanged the glory of an immortal God for images resembling mortal man and birds and animals and creeping things therefore God gave them up in the lust of their hearts to impurity and dishonoring their bodies among themselves because they exchanged the truth about God for a lie and worshiped and served their creator creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever amen for this reason God gave them up to a dishonorable passions for their women exchanged natural relations for those that are contrary to nature for men likewise exchanged natural relations with women and were consumed with passions for one another men committing shameless acts with men and receiving in themselves a due penalty for their error and since they did not see fit to acknowledge god gave them up to a debased mind to do what they ought not to be done and they were filled with the manner of unrighteousness evil covetous malice and full of envy murder strife deceit malicious they are gossips slanderers haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inverter, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, foolishness, or foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. They know God's righteous decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, and they not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. That is two, ver or two sets of scripture right there, and it tells us exactly what's going on in our society. And God, I mean, how long do you think God's going to continue to put up with this foolishness? He's going to, I mean, at any time, he's going to, I mean, he could just lay the smack down on us. I, I wish he'd just come ahead and rapture the church out of here, because I am sick of seeing what's going on. 
and nobody's saying nothing. People approving it, um, celebrating sin. There are only a handful of people that are saying anything about it. It's just, you know, this. I was watching. There, uh, there was a a school. It was a private school in Florida somewhere. Sent a homework assignments home, wanting the children to video them in the bathtub reading so-called assignment from their teacher. I mean, come on. That's grooming. That's sexualizing children. It's sick. It's perverted. And I, I mean, it's... Just, come on, man. I am sickened by what's happening to our kids. And parents, you know, that because they're... they're little girl plays with cars well he must she must be wanting to be a boy so let's get her started on on these uh hormone replacement therapies and get surgery done turn her into a boy because that's what must be what she wants no 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 it's not that's what's been going on for years and it's and the mental aspects of what happened during the covid lockdowns is what's the, and, you know it was already going on but it's really brought it to the forefront and we're really seeing what's going on. And this surgeries on children to change who they are, who God created them to be. The Bible is clear. God created man, he created woman, and to be exactly what he created them to be, a man and a woman. Not you know being born a woman and then change yourself to a man or a man changing himself to a woman. That's opposite day. That's not what it's meant to be. That's not how we were designed. And you know anybody that thinks that that's what you know that we can do that, well they're wrong because that's what Scripture says. And those who do that are living in sin and they're deceiving themselves. And God's not going to put up with this nonsense. And those that are, are doing this to children. The Bible says you'd be better off to have a large millstone tied around your neck than cause one of these little ones of his children of his to sin. Yeah, God's getting fed up. He's going to get fed up with this nonsense. And y'all are going to see something. I mean, y'all are going to see him show up and show out. And you, then you're going to see something. He's going to bring this world to its knees. The Bible says every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that he is Lord. So you can do it now because you want to, or you can do it later because you have to. But it's going to happen. Promise you. It's time, church. I mean, it's time to stand up. When I first started this channel, I said that there was going to be John the Baptist, you know, style ministry. And, I, you know, it's time to call out the foolishness and this sickness. You know, I had a, a, a woman the other day on my uh, on my facebook who i am branded her because i i mean she was just looking for a fight but she welcomed trans you know drag queens come in there and read to her children not somebody ought to take her children away from her i mean that's just i mean it's just plain right out sick you know, I want to want something like that pure evil i mean it's demonic it's sickening it's got to stop it's got to stop and until we start pushing back, speaking out, and standing up against this foolishness. And stop celebrating sin. Oh my gosh, stop it. I'm not, and I'm not even, okay, you know, a lot of people, you know, can, can, you know mistake um, our, uh, us, you know, calling out sin as us against, you know, people with certain, you know, that are living that lifestyle. And that's not it at all. And, uh, you know, I would give my life to help somebody if they were they're drowning or whatever and they're, and they're living that lifestyle. Uh, it's not about them. You hate the sin. You love the sinner. And that's just the way it is. But Satan, you know, I did the sermon. Y'all y'all heard it. I mean, if you watch the channel, you know, you know, I told you who Satan is and what he is capable of. You know, John 8, 44 says he's the father of lies. And, I, you know, stop stop playing around with this stuff. You, you know Satan is not somebody to mess with. And he is after this world. He is trying to take down our families. He's trying to take down our children. He's trying to, and, and he's doing a really good job. It's time. I am not kidding. I, I mean, it's time. If you know one of these places is 
putting on these kind of shows, the churches, we need to show up and start calling it out and shutting them down. Something else that just blows my mind, you have a, you had a very godly man going to uh, these abortion clinics offering to help these young ladies make a different decision counseling he wasn't forcing them he wasn't he wasn't doing anything illegal but he had but some joker decided to get in his kids face and and keep continue to cuss and, and you know getting his child you know putting his where he felt his child was in harm or in danger and he put you know pushed the guy and then all of a sudden now the FBI comes in and arrest him yeah that's politicalization yeah that's uh, yeah, well, Jesus told us they, they will hate us first because they hated him. Or they hated him first, so they will hate us, and persecution's coming. I mean, we, we know it. I mean, it's coming. And, you know, and that's just a small smidget of what we're going to see, people. You might as well get ready. If we're going to see who loves Christ and who doesn't. We're going to find out who's willing to stand and who doesn't, and who won't. And, you know, and I'm telling you, those of you that, that are cowards, and back down and don't and don't stand up for the gospel. You know, you're going to be you're going to have to answer for that. You know we have got a message of the gospel. We need to be spreading and telling and standing up for the truth and making sure people understand that God is not going to stand for this sin. Not going to happen. And when he and when I'm telling you when he shows up for all this and starts setting things straight, it's going to get real. And I'm just telling you, we're watching things play out right now that's directly right out of Scripture, telling us that we're in the last days and God's coming back. He's going to take the church. Those who are followers of His, not those who are claiming to be Christ, Christians, He's going to be coming back for the ones who, it says, those who are faithful to the end will be saved. So if you've truly given your life to Christ, you will be doing what it says to do in this book. You've heard me say it, James 1, 22. Do not merely listen to the words and so deceive yourselves, but do what it says. It's time to do what it says, folks. Time to do what it says. Quit playing games. Get up off the couch. Get your face in God's word. Get out of TikTok and all that and, and all that nonsense. Get back to the church. Get back on fire for Christ and do what he's called you to do. And let's put an end to this nonsense. That's just where I'm at. I could sit here and rent and rave, and I mean, I'm fired up like you ain't never seen this pastor fired up, and I think God's been holding my tongue. It's been a lot of my issues. Well, he's winding me up, and it's about time to let me go, so look out. It's time for the church to rise up, get on fire for God, and start doing what it says in God's Word, start protecting our children. You know, we got elections coming up, you better vote for morals and I mean you know you're not going to get the perfect candidate but you need to vote for the one who's going to try to stand up for, uh, for your children who are pro-life who are doing the things that, uh, you know that's going to benefit the people to give us you know help us take back this country of ours and put it back on the right track I've you know I've said for a long time I really believe that we're going to have one more revival before the Lord comes back and it's time. It's now. It's. I mean, it's right now. You gotta get busy. Got a lot of work to do. We can't depend on D.C. I mean, it, there's a lot of demons and corruption up there. We can't. Lie, we can't wait on the government. It's time for us, the church, now to speak out. Let's go. I'm gonna leave it there. I gotta calm down. Then we'll come back and we'll pray here in just a little bit and uh, end the video there. We're going to get down here to my appointment, and so we will see you in just a little bit. Hey, good morning. Pastor Anthony here. Well, we made it back home at our school bus thing this morning, and we keep going out that way. It, I mean, sheets here close to my house, and it's kind of crazy here, and I ain't kidding you. But anyway. We're going to go down and have some tires put on Viper, but, you know, wasn't planning to, but as you know, we had that flat the other morning, and it's just been one thing after another, it keeps going down, and so I don't know what's going on with it, so we're just going to go get some tires. But we're going to try to finish this video up in a little bit, so I'm going to try to make this short, um, because, it, I don't, it, you know, I did a lot of talking yesterday, but, uh, 
you know, I know my video may sound like I was really angry, and I was, but, I, you know, uh, and so we have to be careful, because a lot of people don't realize, or don't think about whatever, you know, uh, anger, passion, you know, sin, you know, tying together, you know, because we see, you know, in Scripture, uh, Jesus, you know, went into the temple, and I talked about this, flipping tables over and running people out that were, um, uh, doing things in the church that they weren't supposed to be doing but uh, you know one of the things you know i don't want people to, to mistake is you know, thinking it's okay just to be angry and just do stupid stuff okay because you, you can't ephesians uh 4 26 tells us it says be angry and do not sin and do not let the sun go down on your wrath nor give a place to the devil and so you know what this is telling us is you know hey you know it's okay to be angry when there's things that's uh, you know not when there's when there's sin going on, you know it's okay to be angry about the things going on with the children, you know the things you know we got to protect them, you know that type of stuff. But we don't want to allow that anger to cause us to sin and to cause us to do something uh, stupid like violence or hurting somebody or you know any of that kind of stuff. And, and we want to continue, you know, you want to pray through uh, what you're feeling and what you're saying and the passion that you have and make sure that, um, that you're doing things biblically. And that's why I shared the scriptures with you all yesterday. You know, they were a little long, but it's just to kind of show you what's going on and why we're seeing what we're seeing. But we are living in the last days, you know, and so this last little clip here was... You know, tell you, you know, it's okay to be angry. It's okay to be, you know, to speak out and, you know, be a little loud. But just don't do it in sin, you know, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, anyway, we're going to... Coffee's trying to, like... But uh, we got to stop in here. We're going to pick up my tires uh, and take them down to Chad get some tires put on wiper so we will end this in prayer in just a bit see you soon hey welcome back to the channel this is pastor anthony and well yeah we're home and we're getting ready to hook to that uh we're getting ready to head down me and my wife we'd already had planned months ago a uh, trip down to our daughter and son-in-laws and so we gotta see baby wesley again uh so getting viper you know, undone, you know, which, you know, we didn't pull the one trailer in a month, so, uh, you know, I'm not going to be in a rush to put everything back in there when we get back. Uh, well, actually, we are, because I got to go to Horizon on the 13th for some kind of safety school, and hopefully we get a load. And I emailed my dispatcher today, and, you know, things aren't looking good for uh, RV transport, you know. For some reason there's some people that's out there that's running 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 you know and then there's some who are well we're starving to death so i i don't understand it i don't know how it works you know i've tried to be available try to communicate and uh so i don't know we'll just we'll just keep waiting and seeing so um hopefully we'll have some other answers the 16th of October. I don't know. We'll keep you updated on that. Anyway, I wanted to finish wrapping this uh, this video up because you know it's it's pretty fiery, and so we want to you know we're not going to back down from. It. We're not going to apologize for it. We're just going to keep moving forward and keep calling out sin. And you and I together are going to continue to grow the family of Christ. So, and hopefully somebody on here gets blessed, gets taught, and maybe they somebody finds christ so that's you know that's the theme you know that's the whole theme of this so let's pray and then we will i'll get this thing fixed you know edited and uploaded sometime this evening and then hopefully i'll get some video and pictures and things along the way next week uh from our trip but we'll definitely do some kind of video i, I don't know what kind what we'll be doing yet but we'll do something so anyway let's pray Father God, Lord, uh, you know, this This video was, um, you know, there's a lot of things going on in our world, and it just is, 
it's got me fired up and you know and if i know if it's got me fired up it's got you fired up so lord we just ask you continue to challenge us and teach us and move us forward lord and and ignite the church lord so that they are calling out sin and not supporting it, not celebrating it. And this church down in Katy, Texas, is not a church. It's a cult, a demonic field cult. And you tell us to be careful and watchful of false teachers and false prophets and, and people who are claiming to be of you who are really not. And so, Father, we just ask that you shut the doors of that place and, you know, uh, and just put your hand on that and just take care of that situation, Lord, in whatever ways you, you see fit. But, Lord, we just know that we, the church, must be vocal in this time. You tell us that we are living in the last days. We, the church, are to go and make disciples of all nations. We are supposed to be spreading the gospel message about you, how much you love us, what you did for us, and, and, you know, and what you expect from us. So, Lord, let us just dive into your word and learn, learn together and just keep moving us forward. Father, we love you and thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. <laughs> you know, when you're praying and your eyes are closed, you can't really see where the camera's going. So, sorry about that. We didn't keep it on me. But anyway, we're going to get out of here. Got to do some errands and uh, get the trailer hooked up and get ready for my wife to get home here after a while. And we're going to head down the road. So, anyway, we will see you on the next one. Y'all have a great one.